Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket, and I'm in Shuttle Babe. This is my home, and what you are seeing right here is a walking stick. Now I picked this stick up uh, at the last campsite in the in the woodsy forest, and Jack, my friend, he also found one as well. I found a tall one. <laughs> I wanted a tall one. Um, anyway, we took a day and sanded and sawed off all the little knobby things and then after that we buffed it a little bit more and then decided to um, stain it and shellac it. But they had this new thing that combines both so you don't have to stain and then shellac. It's, it's together so you just put the application on and look how good this turned out. See? Yeah, that's really great. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do today is paracord the handle. So, stay tuned. This is fun. Jack already did his and it turned out great. I'll show you his in a minute too. Now this is uh, Shuttle Babe on the outside in my camp. I'm here in uh, northern Arizona um, in Winslow on BLM land, so it's really nice. It has cliffs and everything around here, so it's really a lot of fun to be camped here. All the way down in there is all kinds of cliffs to explore. We have actually gone down them. There's easy accesses and went in the middle of it and went to the other side. So yeah, fun. All right, well, I'm gonna go over here and right there is Jack's rig, and I'm going to show you what he did with his cane, his walking stick. I thought I'd show you a few of the um, different um, plants along the way. These are so dry right now, it's amazing. There is so much rock everywhere. It's kind of fun. It's a bigger version of what I just showed you, and it's a lot uh, healthier looking, isn't it? A lot greener. <laughs> a great uh, place for the girls to be in shade. <laughs> isn't that right, girls? Yes, I see you in there. Of course, you see the prickly pear along with one of those bushes. But look how beautiful those things are. I want to learn how to cook these because uh, I've heard that they are delicious. So I'd like to find out. Hey, and this is Jack. You've seen him in many of my videos. Hi, guys. Oh, and this yep. is... Sassy. Are you going to talk sassy? <laughs> oh, yeah. She's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's right. You tell us all about it. Jack, I've come over here to show everybody how you did your your walking stick. So oh, yeah. we're going to do that, okay? Uh, it's uh, in the process of being uh, finished because mm -hmm. I want to do some other things with it. You still have that can that we used so that I can show them what we used? Or is it gone? The can? The can of, uh, you know, stain and shellac. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, let's show them. Okay, cool. This is Jack's rig. That was the, from the back area. This is his front area. He's uh, bringing out the walking stick. I'm going to come over here so he can see you better, I think. All right. Wow, that's very impressive. Okay, explain it. Okay. Uh... We uh, cut it and then sanded it down and mm -hmm. cut all the knots off. And what I had done after uh, staining and varnishing it mm -hmm. is I just took my little torch and uh, burned oh. the knots. And then later on, I will sand it down a little bit and then re-shellac it. Okay. Uh, poly polyurethane, That gives it um, a nice little definition. Yeah. And then I wrapped it. Uh, wow, what a good with job. paracord. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I just bought, uh, burned it a little bit for, you know, just odds and ends. Mm -hmm. And then I took this rope. Uh, it's an eight-strand rope and nylon. And I just uh, tied it through 
and knotted it up inside and then as you see I burned it so mm -hmm. it won't come out and it won't pull out Great. as a wrist strap and up here this is one of those solar powered lights with a little battery inside mm -hmm. and I cut this thing down I drilled a hole and I stuck that in and put a little uh, wood putty in there to stiffen it up a little bit mm -hmm. and then I'll sand it down and restain it again right. and I just keep that in there for you know during the walking during the day it charges up and at night we can walk with it my goodness your way light did stick I don't yeah. think I've ever seen one made like that before so that's yeah. very creative thank you I uh, I do want to um, put a dream catcher on it mm -hmm. and some a couple of feathers maybe and also some leather strips yes you know to decorate it up so yeah it's a work in progress well uh, it's pretty I, impressive as already I get the ideas I just do it Okay, and so you're in a really creative flow here. Yeah, that's that's the thing about these things. You can make them the way you want. You can carve them. You can do whatever, you know, because that's what the uniqueness of everyone is. Exactly. Good and, point. Um, yeah, so I, I like it. Uh, you know, it, it's it's my height. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to you have to cut. That's a very good point. Thank you yeah. for saying that because you do have to uh, make your walking stick according to what is comfortable for you to walk with. Yeah, yeah, it so is. That's and important. the thickness, too, so you can mm -hmm. get different thicknesses. And that's true, too. Another great point, because I bought one that was so thin yeah, that it was irritating. it. <laughs> no, it was irritating, too. So, yeah, another great point. Yeah, and you want it for sturdiness, too, so after a while you can, you know, lean on it without it breaking. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so it's, you know, curvature of... Uh, that's, you know, it doesn't have to be straight. Uh, that's what's nice about these things is it's natural. Exactly. So Now, how hard was it to do the paracording? Uh, this this uh, wrap, that was really easy. I found it on YouTube, mm -hmm. and it was just putting the line down first and then wrapping it tight as you can. Right. And then pull it through, and it pulls the knots in. And then once you're done... What you do is you pour hot boiling water over it, and mm -hmm. it shrinks it, and it tightens it right up. Oh, okay. So that really, you know, stiffens it up. And if you want to even go further, you can even put uh, varnish or top coat over it, and that'll even uh, help it stick together and, and harden it up. Oh, but okay. I like it natural. I do, too. I think that yeah. looks really nice. I like how so, you did that. Thank you. I... Uh, I plan on doing some different knots uh, up here that'll cover this mm -hmm. and over here and then down below here. Okay, so, so you're going to put it all the way up on the top part? Yeah, and up and then down, down here. Below. Oh, And it's an going to be a total different knot, Ooh. like a, maybe a Turkish knot, uh -huh. uh, they call it, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. And like I say, feathers and a dream catcher. Yes, the embellishments. Uh, or anything else that, you know, like may fancy me, you know, like, you like beads and stuff like that. Yeah, that you know. that would be awesome. So, yeah, I found a nice, uh, looks like a glass stone that was been worked on, but uh, I may find room somewhere in it. Oh, yes. On it. I know exactly so, which stone he's talking about. Yeah. All right, another so thing I want you to show them is how clever you did some paracording with other items, okay? Oh, yes. All right, let's okay, do that. Matter of fact, I have it over here. All right. And this is a, a wiener marshmallow uh, thing, and the handle was kind of small for me to hold on to, uh -huh. as you say, with a walking stick. So I figured, well, I found this uh, knot online that wow, I really that like. that looks beautiful. Thank you. And um, it, it worked and looked really nice. And it's a nice grip, you know, because mm -hmm. I got short hands for a guy. And it's just perfect for roasting those weenies and marshmallows, marshmallows and, and hot dogs, and whatever. you want to stick on there, yeah. you know. So, yeah. All right. It's, and then it's an easy knot, and you can find that online. 
uh, you just tie a regular knot and then you flip it over and then you tie another knot and you just keep going all, all the, way. the way and then to finish it off you tie a finishing knot and then you cut it and burn the ends mm -hmm. and then just put a little hanging loop through loop here. here so you can hang it or what have you whatever and yeah there are so many different ways but i like this because it was easy i like things easy oh but it looks so yeah. it does it looks like it, you had it to looks do complicated it. yeah but, it does but it's but not easy because i did he showed me how to do it and i did mine last night yeah and it's fun to do it is fun to do and it's cheap uh plus you know you can always take it apart if you know you absolutely have to for anything you know, mm -hmm. survival or whatever oh that's Same true that's a good tip so what's in this you were explaining that last night around the campfire yeah um what you can do is, I haven't got one available, but these here, um, the paracord itself, if you don't burn the ends, you can pull the strings out mm -hmm. and you can use them for kindling, uh -huh. fire starters, and the outside casing too. And you can also use the casing for uh, keeping your matches dry. Because you can stick the matches in there and then burn the ends. Not close to the match. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make but, that clear. But, yeah. Whoosh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and, and it's pretty good. Uh, so, that it, you know, it's pretty water, you know, resistant. But also good to have those waterproof matches uh -huh. in there. Not, re not regular matches. Yeah. That's, so, that's yeah, pretty cool. In the survival mode, uh, there's also, you know, a lot of different tips. And tricks on paracordin and I'm going to be making some bracelets and what have you. Yes. To, you know. We're going to get way. into the paracording. Yeah, that, it's fun. Um, it, it relaxes me. Um, I enjoy learning new knots and ways to create and tie and be able to have different uses. Mm -hmm. I have one more thing that I'd like to show you. All right. Which I have learned. I would love for you to show us. And I have to go inside uh, to get it. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> we will wait for you. And then I'll zoom in on this cute little sassy. Yeah. Hi, sassy. And there's my girls. All right. Okay. These cups, these, I call them camping cups. Mm-hmm. They get very, very hot when you pour boiling water in them. Yeah, they do. And I found this knot <laughs> tie for handles. Oh, Jack, that is brilliant. And it's insulated, uh -huh. and you don't burn yourself. And it's this wow. is easy to do, too, because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, so, yeah. you're, you're going to have and to show me that one. I have been soon. using it uh -huh. as proof. Okay. Uh, you couldn't ha hold on to the handle because it was just way too hot. Well, you know what? It just adds another dimension. You, yeah, yeah. It it really does. It just makes it look classier. Yeah, you can I get even... all kinds of colors in these paracords. Uh huh. Uh, iridescent, uh, regular ones. Uh, you know, but I like the green, and mm -hmm. so it's a camping. Yeah. Uh, a camping but color. <laughs> I'm going to be getting different colors, you know, different trials and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I may do my coffee pot that's in this kind of uh, metal. Metal. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I don't use it on the fire, okay. I always use it on my my stove inside for cooking coffee. But if you have them for cooking over the fire, don't do it. Okay. Because <laughs> it'll only burn it. Yeah, it does. So, it scorches them up bad. And these are excellent for putting over the fire, too, without any of this on. Yeah. Because you can burn them, they charcoal, and you can scrub them with Brillo, mm -hmm. and they really come back to cleanness like you see it as is. Wow. I have done it with my coffee pot. I, I boiled it over the campfire, turned to pitch black, and thought, I, and it's like, oh, no, I'm going to have to buy another one. Wrong. <laughs> Hello, and it cleans up just like new. Fantastic. And you never know it was on the fire. That's what's good about these, you know, particular cups. Particular huh? cups mm -hmm. and, and metal. And I like them. They are uh, durable, and they keep things. It keeps the coffee hot for a little while with yep. an insulated handle. Yay! So uh, keeps you occupied, and um, 
yeah, it's fun to do. Okay. So I am going to get into more of that because I've got bitten by the bug. <laughs> All <So>. right. Cool. <laughs> well, I appreciate you showing me that. I'm going to go. I'm going to show them what I did on my little uh, hot dog sticker. There you go. The different yeah. colors. So. Yeah, that's, Thanks, that's Jack. Yeah, All yeah. right, everybody. Jack Dyer. Yeah. <laughs> Camping. Catch you later and have fun, guys. That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Okay, so here's mine. I decided this is the paracord that I had. So this is the same pattern that he used on his. And um, it gives it a different dimension and texture looking with the uh, color. So yeah. And next I'll show you how you do this. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Uh, fire pit, and we have um, Brett and Katie right there. They made a nice pathway to their um, their rig. It's got stones on either side, so it's really cool. But then we come down to here, and we've got um, the fire pit. Jack and I have our chairs that we left here from last night, and we've got uh, some wood that we've gathered. And as you can see, over here, we've got this amazing view of the canyon down here. So, it's really beautiful, but it's especially nice when you're out here with friends around a fire, enjoying everything. It's great. And every time that um, I'm walking around, whether I'm walking the dogs or whatever I'm doing, hiking, I pick up some wood, you know, just dry wood, and gather it because it just saves you a trip. And um, I have a little stash here, so whenever I want just a little small fire by my rig, I can do so. So just a little tip on that. Okay, let me go in here and show, babe. And, oh, I forgot to tell you something. Where did I put it? Oh, yes. Since we have this great big sun, I'm making some sun tea. So, you know, when you're in nature, take advantage of all the perks that you can use when you're out here boondocking and enjoying your, your life. I love iced tea, so I'm getting it made out here, and then I will put it in the refrigerator right there. <laughs> okay, let's get back to this walking stick, and I'll show you how that one cord that we did, just so that you know. Okay, here we go. As far as the length of uh, this paracord, it's pretty long. Um, I just learned from what Jack told me, so I'll find out exactly how you measure to, uh, you know, figure out the, the measurement of how to wrap things for the distance and stuff. But for just for giggles, we're going to show you, um, just how to tie this knot, okay? All right. Okay, now I completely just measured it down the middle. And you just put it over the pole, you just loop it like this up to the top. And I'll show you the next step. Okay, now this one right here is over. This one goes over and then under, just like you do a knot. Like that. And then you tighten them like that. And then you flip it over and you do the same thing on the other side. So we'll show you that. So that's what it is. Um, you just simply tie it knot over there, then switch it over to the other side again. This is going like this. And then from there, you take this string, you go over it, and then you just pull it like that, just like you tie knots, okay? And then you tighten it 
each way all the way like that so you just keep making your little loops one on this side flip it over do the same thing back and forth back and forth it's just that simple okay well I hope that is uh, easy enough for you to get all right As you can see mine is pretty tall I wanted it to be big I just did so that I can uh, when I'm going up cliffs and stuff I'll have uh, a big enough long enough it's very long <laughs> it's really down here all the way so anyway I wanted mine to be big <laughs> and it's kind of like a staff in a way so that's why uh, I chose this particular stick so I hope that helped you um, to learn a little bit about how to make a, um, a walking stick and personalize it to your liking all right beach cricket out wake up and live have adventures it's your life you guys enjoy it all right bye